sleeping routines. Uh, that's the most difficult, you know, that's the nightmare of the parents because everybody, you know, that's why I say to my clients, that's why the babies are so famous because uh, they sleep, but they break the sleep, you know what I mean? They sleep like two hours and then they wake up and then, or because of uh, gas pain or colic or because they have to be fed, you know, but for the adult, it's like every two hours you are up. You know, and then it takes time to feed, and then when you put the baby down, and the baby still, you know, is squirming, and you have to pick the baby up, it's um, it's uh, is sleeping. But if we if we do the routine that I I I I advise in my book, it, like daytime is a daytime, you know, we eat, a play, and then go to sleep uh, soon. I mean soon, like month and a half, you know, you are getting a baby that can go like seven hours maybe in the middle of the night, which is good for a parents of a newborn, you know what I mean? If you have six hours straight sleep, you are lucky. But I think the, the main thing that was the most important to me as a dad that I learned from Louisa was about the, the power of scheduling and about how babies love routine and they love discipline and they like to know even before you know they're able to roll over they sense at a certain time when you have them on a schedule it leads to a much more calm and peaceful household and these things were all foreign to me um i believe that louisa genuinely set my child on a path to happiness and peace in life you know, her whole method, everything about her style is um, trying to be in touch with what a baby needs. Again, not what you need from the baby or the schedule you want the baby to be on, but recognizing cues, when the baby's tired, you know, when it's time to put her down for a nap, how to start putting her on a schedule, not too early, recognizing when each individual baby is ready to go on a schedule. Well, I find that I found that, you know, Louisa, that was one of the things she was very instrumental right off the bat with Logan was teaching him about his own internal schedule for napping, for sleeping, for self-soothing. And it started at a very early age, you know, literally walking through the front door where she taught us how to, you know, to swaddle the baby to make him feel safe and contained. She got him immediately on a sleep schedule, which I think is the most important thing you can do, particularly when they stop having to do, you know, every three hour feedings. But that has continued to this day. I mean, she really taught us about the power of, of a schedule. So his nap times always were at the same time. We always make sure that he has a little bit of prep time before a nap and also, you know, she was very helpful with us with his bedtime where we have every night since he's been a baby, we have bath at seven, he's out of the tub by 7.15. You know, he watches a little video and has what he calls his baba, which is his um, formula. And then we always have reading with him and she was always very um, great about that. He sits on my lap and has for two years and I'm the last person he sees at night and, and we read stories and he feels very safe and uh, I marvel at the fact that he knows when we reach, sometimes he likes to do the same book last when we reach that last page. He's like, okay, and he runs to his crib and throws in his little blankets and his pacifiers and he's ready to go. And he's learned that himself because I feel like children really love routine and the discipline of routine. And that's something that Louisa was always adamant about. In many ways, is the most important thing you can do with a baby because you know, the more rested a baby is, or a toddler, the better they're going to be throughout the day. Louisa was very strict with my baby schedule. She was like, 7.30, lights out. And to this day, he keeps, my child who's now five, keeps by that schedule. And it has created so much uh, freedom for me and my husband to, you know, have our dinner. Well, we know he's in bed trying to fall as asleep. We're having dinner downstairs, watching him on, on, on the monitor it's been a lifesaver. And it leads to a healthier and happier child. He gets enough rest. 